Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. And now that I have my blanket off the loom, I get to clean up after it. So this isn't the part that you normally see when you watch weaving videos, but I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what I have to go through um, after I finish weaving. So we're going to, uh, because my space is really small, um, this is pretty critical to stay organized and clean up after each project. So let's go. So you'll notice my dust buster or my stick back is uh, empty and we're going to see how much dust and debris I collect from it. So one of the features of my loom is it folds, so it makes it a lot easier to um, get it out of the way in this small space. This is the temporary shuttle race that I put on. store this back here. Oh. And before I fold the loom up, um, I like to use these uh, pet dust buster um, or dusting cloths that are for uh, your floors. Um, and we'll just go ahead and clean up the lambs. Get the major dust off of the cloth beam, push it up, and then I can do the lower lambs. And then um, we're going to go ahead and cut off the block that holds my camera. I don't typically need it. So 
this was one of my um, repair threads. Uh, here's the other one. Pull those up. Um, I had a couple um, weights back here that were holding Threads. Okay, that's good there. All right. And then I had a whole section here that had to be weighted. So we'll remove that. Put that in there. And store my weights over here. Now you can really see the piles of um, dust. These pads are super helpful um, for you know kneeling on or protecting hardwood floors. I just got these at um, Harbor Freight. They come in a pack of four. And I have a fair amount of uh, work that was left. Um, I knew that when I was winding it, I was probably winding too much, uh, but I also knew that it would be sticky and I didn't want to have to fight with it. So I will save all this and use it in maybe a Raya rug or um, something else using these in individual uh, throws, in individual picks. So there's a good amount of yarn left there. I think I will just secure it with this extra piece and it will stay all nice and organized. At least that's the theory. Alright, so I'm going to add this, wind this up. And then I can take the back beam off. And 
fold in. All right. back here behind the loom, stay out of the way. So you can see that it gives me a lot more room once I get that folded up. almost got it. So the last thing that I need to clean besides dusting again um, is the reed. So, let's bring you down here. And if you look closely, you can see that the reed is just packed with fiber. And I am going to have to go through and um, pull this all out. And uh, it's, it's going to be a job. So we'll do that um, later. Let's see if I can get some of it back here. Let's see, look at, look at this. So this is just in the bottom of the reed. It was all packed in here. So we'll have to use uh, probably a kind of a picking tool to get some of that out. Um, maybe my slaying hook. Um, that would be a good, good tool to use. Uh, and we'll clean that all up and then uh, we'll be ready for our next project. So there you have it. There's the cleanup process. Um, remember at the beginning of the video, I showed you the empty con container on the vacuum cleaner. Here it is now. As you can see, it is super full. Here is the max line and I have it filled up to about here. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. But that's how much uh, fiber and um, debris was on the floor and on the loom. If you like this video, please tell all your weaving friends about my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and comment 
uh, on the videos. Thanks for watching and happy weaving.